crazy. So today I look like I'm on the first episode of Glee because I'm wearing blue jeans, Converse, and a red shirt. If you watch Glee, you understand the scene. But okay, to the point. So today's video is going to be about awkward bathroom situations I've had. And some of them are kind of horrifying, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so let's just get right on into the video. And if you see this subscribe button somewhere on the screen, please click it because hopefully by September I'll have 35 subscribers. So three of you, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot. So let's get in. Uh, the first story takes place at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Very congested, busy, one of the busiest airports in the United States. So obviously there's a lot of people, so there's a lot of bathrooms at an airport. So I was going to Nassau in the Bahamas. It was like February, so I guess the airport wouldn't be as busy as it would be in summer. Don't get me started on my summer airport experiences because they are not fun. <laughs> okay, so I was going to Nassau. Um, I was in eighth grade, so I was like, I think I was 14 when this happened. So we, um, because obviously it was, it's only like an hour flight maybe to Nassau. It's not long at all. Not bad at all. So we wanted to go to the bathroom before the flight anyway, because I personally don't like going to bathrooms on planes. And yeah. <laughs> so I go to the bathroom with one of my friends. And so obviously there's like 20 something stalls of bathrooms and everything. So we just go and there's one that looks open. So my friend like um, pushes the door open as you do in a bathroom stall. And there's an old lady. So like an elderly woman, probably in her 60s or 70s with no clothes on at all with the stall door unlocked. So my 14 year old self saw this, which obviously I don't see anything wrong with the body or whatever. like. But that's just kind of strange if you're, okay, one of you are changing, like, aren't you going to have your underwear and, like, bra on and all that? Um, so this lady had nothing on. It was all nude. <laughs> but, um, so she obviously, like, freaked out and shut the door really quickly. But I'm like, did she know the door was unlocked? Like, you could tell it was unlocked. Like, you could just push it and it would open. So... I don't know if that lady knew and I feel bad for her because I'd be really embarrassing. I don't know what she was doing in there. Um, I personally like never changed after a flight. Um, I, I, I know a lot of people do for like long flights, but I haven't been on a long flight in like a year and I didn't change at the airport because I'm gross. <laughs> so on to the next story. Okay, so the next story take, it takes place in Silver Lake Echo Park area of Los Angeles. I'm not sure of the place. It's, an, it's a Los Angeles address of where this happened, but Echo Park and Silver Lake are just neighborhoods. So it was in that area of LA. And I had gone to a Dodgers game, and it was against the Nationals, I think. So this happened back in June, so this one's more recent, like I really remember it. So I really, really, I had already gone to the bathroom once at the stadium. And so after the game, um, we went into the like Sunset Gate. So on Sunset Boulevard, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with the LA area and the streets and all that. So um, Silver Lake is really an artsy area of Los Angeles um, and a big LGBT area. And it's just like really artsy and hipster whatever they have a lot of um rock clubs um down on sunset not sunset strip but on sunset boulevard so um it's i personally really like the area but i don't know if i would live there um just not really my type of where i would live in la but um it's like a nice area and it was like an hour drive back to century city um and because one i don't we never drive on the freeway so it's like an hour drive and yeah, so I knew I wouldn't make it to the bathroom in time that I got back. So I was like, uh, we'll just stop at a 
store, restaurant, anything like that. My animals are playing, if you can hear all that, my cat and dog. But okay, so we um, stopped, well first we went to like Taco Bell. They were closed, like their drive throughs open, but like the actual like store part. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like gonna pee my pants. <laughs> um, so then I'm like, McDonald's is open 24 hours, I think. So let's just go there. So it's the McDonald's. There's like a lot of homeless people around, which there isn't anything wrong with that. But just in that area, there were a lot of homeless people. Um, just I'm giving y'all just so you can imagine it in your head. Um, I'm not like saying homeless people are bad because I don't think that at all. But um, so... I go into the McDonald's bathroom and there's a lot of Dodgers fans, so like probably a lot of people go. So I, there are like, there's three stalls and I go into the last one because I was the only one open enough. Like, thank you, God is real. There's a bathroom stall open for me. But I, there were just a lot of weird noises in that bathroom. I don't know what was happening in there. And then there were like bell noises, like ringing a bell. So I don't know what all that was about, but like, and it sounded like metal, like, hitting something, so, I don't know what was going on in that bathroom in Silver Lake, it was just very weird, like, weird vibes, um, but yeah, so those are my awkward bathroom situations, this video is not really that entertaining, but my Saturday videos are not entertaining in my mind, like, they can be, but, who knows? But I post two videos a week, guys. So as always, comment right and subscribe to check out those videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've ever had any awkward bathroom situations, tell me down below in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, it's Izzy here. So today, this video.